Okay, in my last video I showed you the window resizer that I just installed. I'm now going to show you in action how you can edit it. Um, if I go up to my icon, I'm off the screen here obviously for purpose so you can see how it works. And all I need to do is click on it here and I can choose this option that I've set here, 1280 by 720. And there you go, it resizes my screen straight away. Um, one of the good things is I can also put in my custom sizes. So if I click on the icon, scroll down to edit resolutions. Okay, and you can see here I've added this one. I've called it YouTube. Reason is because I like to record at 1280 by 720 for YouTube. Okay, and what I can do is I can just type in here, you know, 1280 in this side, and I can put in like maybe 730 if I wanted to. Okay, and I can leave leave this option jump change. I could give it a description like test, and I could say it's a screen type, so it's like a desktop. Um, and all I need to do is click save. It gets added here. And then I can just drag this up to the top here. So you can see I'm just clicking on it. I get the little cross up here, is clicking on it, and I can obviously move it around. And I could delete it, and I can also edit it. Once you've done that, if I just scroll down here and I click Finish Editing, it then goes, and it then appears in my list now. So you can see I've got this one here called Test. And it just allows you to quickly jump between different screen sizes and resolutions. And that's actually changing the screen uh, resolution there and actually pushing the size of the browser out but it's just a great little app um, it just helps me quickly resize a window especially when I want to do a quick recording and I can jump in edit resolution again so I could just delete this one if I didn't need it I could leave this one I've got already in here I can edit them you know so I can click on edit and I've got other ones I've got ones for mobile sizes you wanted to quickly, if you, this is good if you're testing web pages. So if you're designing a web page for um, maybe to be mobile friendly, so it's a responsive design, you could preset in here your sizes for iPad and mobile phones, and you can quickly jump your uh, screen to that size to see how the web page is actually reacting based on the size. Um, so that's probably more for developers or web designers who are building responsive web design. But um, it's a great little extension if you use if you do a lot of screencasting. Um, go get it, go try it out, um, it just saves you a little time trying to quickly resize the browser and you know even if you're doing webinars or things we have to resize the screen so uh, great little app, uh, go and try it out, I hope that helps